Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with a great episode today. Uh, sorry, we've been gone for a while. Um, I was out of town. Uh, I was covering some fights um, in, in, in Texas um, throughout the area, uh, at a press conference, and I'm back. Um, again, we'll be back two shows a day, every day, uh, except Sundays, one show, one day, one show a day on Sunday. Um, but we'll be back two shows a day. Uh, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, and please uh, subscribe to our new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, uh, which is completely dedicated to bo- uh, Texas Boxing. I'll be adding some new content. I added some new content yesterday. I'll be adding some new content today. Uh, a press conference for a fight in San Antonio. Uh, please check that out and share it. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Let's get into today's show. Um, and it's a good one. The first station is Josh Taylor's spectacular uh, unanimous decision victory over uh, Jose Carlos Ramirez. Um, Really, 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 really good fight. Uh, Really entertaining scrap. Um, I I think the, you know, I think people are overestimating how good this fight. It was a really good fight. I thought five, six, seven, eight. Josh Taylor was kind of in control. Whereas you go back to the pro grade fight, and every single round was competitive. Every single round was was contested and close. Um, you know, I, I thought the first couple of rounds were slow. Um, I thought one went to Taylor, two went to Ramirez, three went to Ramirez. Um, and then I, I thought Taylor kind of four was close. I thought Taylor kind of ran off some rounds, got a couple knockdowns. Um, I, I had it wider on the cards. I had it 115, 111. The judges all had it 115. So, what, I mean, we weren't far apart. But I thought Taylor went a little wider. Um, one of the judges had the fight uh, up in the air going into the final round. I thought that's a little silly. I gave the last round to Ramirez. I gave the last two rounds to Ramirez. Um, I thought that was a little silly. Um, but it, it, Ramirez showed well for himself. He fought well. Uh, Ramirez is a guy, to me who fights better in bigger spots. Like, he struggled with um, Pedraza. He struggled with Postal. And those are good fighters. But he, but, but, but he destroyed Hooker. And he fought really well in this fight. Right? Like, I, I thought the way he looked against Postal, I thought the Hooker fight was a one-shot deal. Like, he couldn't look that good again. And he looked that good again. Now, it wasn't enough against Josh Taylor. But it was as good as he could do, and he fought him as competitively and as tough as he could. Nothing to be ashamed of. Really, really good performance for, for Ramirez. Just wasn't enough. Taylor's the best guy in the division. I mean, and Taylor is a good boy. Wow. I mean, can we be real? Can we give it up? This is a pound for pound cat. Josh Taylor, um, top 10 pound for pound guy. Easily, I don't know where you put him in your top 10 list. Four, five, six, seven, somewhere in there. Uh, is where you'd have, but please check uh, our new website. We've updated our pound for pound rankings. Uh, please check those out at 3D Boxing Blog. Brand new pound for pound uh, rankings updated. Uh, well, I'll, I'll post a link to that in here as well. Um, but really, um, he's able to fight from the outside. He's pretty quick. He fights really well on the inside for a guy that's long and rangy. I mean, he rips, rips uppercuts up the middle. You know, he, he rips short punches on the inside, and then he can box from the outside, and he's fast. Josh Taylor is a complete fighter. Um, yeah, I don't know where he goes from here. Um, he's got all four belts. He's undisputed. Um, so, I mean, there's a couple options, and this is what I want to get into. Option number one, he stays at 140 and makes his um, mandatory against Jack Catterall. Eh. Eh. I mean, no one outside of a couple people in the UK would be excited about that one. Just being honest. <laughs> right? No, no, no one's writing home about that one. Option two, he stays at 140 and has... Uh, Tiafimo Lopez come up uh, from 135 
the undisputed fight champ at 135 come up to 140 and fight him. Ah, that's a fight right there. I don't know who wins that fight. That's a fight right there. Or he does that. Um, he fight. He goes to 147 to fight Terrence Crawford. Uh, the, the the two undisputed 140 pound champions in the four belt era fight each other at 147, where Terrence Crawford has the WO belt. That's high level boxing. You know, um, both those fights are intriguing. Option four, which is the least likely. Would be he fights the winner of Tank Davis um, and Barrios, who are fighting for the uh, WBA regular belt. Um, you know th- those guys are on the PBC side. That fight would be tougher to make. That's probably not going to happen. But those would be the four options, the likely options, right? Um, because they would would be the only other claim to 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 a major world title would be Barrios Tank Davis winner. But that fight would be unlikely to be made. Um, so those are your options, and I, I think. Progray is going to fight Broner, and then the winner of Progray Broner, Progray will fight the winner of Tank Barrios. Barrios. So we'll get Progray and Barrios, which could be, who knows, right? If Taylor goes up to 147, could be for another one of the world titles, right? Uh, or, 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 I mean, if he went to 147, I'm sure they would make Barrios from regular to super champion, or Tank should Tank win, but Tank won't win. Barrios will win. Um, I don't know. But that, that's the scenario there. Or Tiafimo could come up. And, and that's the interesting option. That, that, that's the option I want to get into. Um, Tiafimo Lopez is massive for 135. He can make 135 because he's young and he can cut the weight. So he can keep making that weight. And there's plenty of fights for him there. Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia. Uh, there's plenty of fights for him. So there's no need for him to do this. But to be, I think he's 23 or 24, if he could go and beat Josh Taylor, which he, again, I'm not telling you he's going to beat Josh Taylor. He could beat Josh Taylor. That's not out of the realm of possibility. To be undisputed in two weight classes, by the time you're 24, puts him on a platform to an unbelievable superstardom. Which is why, and the fight's makeable, I think. I I don't know where TFO stands right now with top rank. Right, um, but that fight seems makeable. Right, it's a great fit. We can do it in New York when when, when boxing returns. It, it's a great fight. So let's do that. Um, that's the fight I would like to see. If that can't get made, Crawford needs an opponent. Although I want to see Crawford fight Virgil Ortiz. If that can't be done, or he can't fight Spence or any of those PBC guys. Same side, of the, same side of the top the street. Same side of the top rank street. Fight this man right here. Fight that man right there. Um, but let me know what you guys think. What did you think of uh, Taylor's performance? Were you as impressed with it as I was? Um, did you do you think he's as complete a fighter and as good a fighter? Where do you have me? Your pound for pound list. Leave that in the thoughts, comments. Please like and subscribe. Share the 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog at all fun social media. Please also go to Texas Boxing Scene. Check out our channel. Um, please subscribe to that. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery, the Autism Community in Action is the name of the organization uh, from Texas. Oh, wait. Um, Ivan Calderon is still in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in the class of 2021. Um, it is, oh, uh, we messed that up because I've been gone for a while. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.